How you doing today, folks? Now today we have a video to where I'm pretty sure I know everything in these boxes. I didn't black out one thing, and folks, coming from me, that's a minor miracle. So we have one box full of a whole bunch of returned items and one very special piece that hopefully is now perfect. We have another box with a big, beautiful, one-off version of a knife that I already know I absolutely love. And this is gonna be my unsellable, like, mini grail piece. And then we have another that is a customized piece for my amazing maker. And honestly, I am so excited for this knife. It is ridiculous. But without further ado, Let's get started. Today's unboxing knife is the TRM Atom in red micarta and a black 20 CV blade. And today's wallet is this from EDC Baltic. I'm loving this wallet still. Highly recommend it so far. The review will be coming soon, but so far, so fantastic. Man, I love the grinds on the Atom. This thing just is such a laser beam. I've actually used this knife uh, quite a lot and it's still just laser sharp and the crazy ass geometry. God damn it, we have packing peanuts. I swear to God, Dirk, you're doing this shit to me on purpose. I hate these goddamn things with such a supreme and unrivaled passion. It is kind of ridiculous. All right, in one package, we have a Something Obscene Company J Cape in satin and flame titanium. Overall, a very, very beautiful functional knife with incredible action. Love the JK. Next, we have the uh, Sketch Smelling Fanny Pack knife. Is it fixed? Is it fixed? I'll tell you one thing, it's definitely not deodorized. Holy Christ. Uh, there are two other knives in here that I don't think could actually fit the size of that knife, so interesting. Oh, I lied. So, first impressions, can't flick it anymore. Can definitely roll it out, and um, the issue is, appears to be gone. I mean, it's still a little squishy. It's better than it was before. But I would definitely not call it gone. So this is probably going to be sent in to Mr. Dwyer himself. But it's definitely better. Like it is definitely better than it was. So that's fantastic. This is an absolutely beautiful knife. I love this thing. We also have a tiny Kaiser pouch. Which contains... Oh yeah, my Rockstead. Dirk actually kind of hated this knife. But oh well, I love it. This thing is fantastic. In case you can't tell, folks, I'm trying to hurry up to get to the new ones. All right, we have the uh, Arc Form Slim Foot Brass and the uh, OD Green G10 Prometheus Design Works Invictus in Terravantium. Love this knife. This is actually being traded, though, so. Gonna be having a pretty cool piece coming in. I might have done that trade while drunk, but I mean that's kind of my everyday life, so oh well. All right, now we have the very customized, very unique piece by the man, the myth, the maker, Steve Kyle. And this thing is looks incredible in pictures. I've not seen it yet in person, obviously, because we're unboxing this together. But I have very, very high hopes, and we have more goddamn packing peanuts. I swear to God, y'all are just fucking with me today. Oh my God. So many packing peanuts. So, we have a Spyderco Capara, right? But I'm gonna get real close to the camera. This one is in burgundy contoured micarta, beautifully done with this incredible brass backspacer has a very kind of old school style to it that I personally love. I actually really love slip joints, but I just can't stand the opening mechanism, right? I want to have pocket clip, I want to have a locking knife. So like now I have all of those things with the action and the ergonomics and just the joy of the Capara and a little bit of extra weight too. And honestly, this is, yeah, this is perfect. 
Steve Kyle, brother, I love you, man. This man actually did all of this work in a day. It is very stiff out of the box, so that needs to be rebroken in, but that's fine. Overall, man, this thing is just nuts. And folks, if you can't tell by my face right now, I'm in love. Ah! All right, now we have a big badass monster from my kindred and my friend Dirk Hofstetter of Midgard's Messer in this big gigantic box and or envelope and or hybrid, whatever the hell this is, is a knife that I am so excited about. I hoped and pray they did like a, a superior run of this, the different steel. It's been a while, I gave up hope, and then one day it just popped and I lost my shit. And look at how big this package is, like, wow. Oh man, I am so excited. Wow, the zipper sucks. <laughs> Whoo, baby. We have the Midgard's Messer full-size Viking in CPM 3V. This is a one-off, folks. As you can see, we have those beautiful frag pattern. This time we have some nice, good old-fashioned skulls. That is also mirrored on the backside to, or to where it's not quite symmetrical, but it's pretty damn close so I can deal with it. That same buttery smooth, fantastic action, and I have no doubt, oh yeah, guillotine. And as you can see right here, folks, see that, man? One of one, completely unique, and mine. Who I'm happy. The Viking, baby. And CPM 3V. The ergonomics on this knife are just ridiculous. I love finger trolls, right? Like being able to choke up. This has it. It's very subtle, though. You really can't even tell. But just back here, man, just holding it regular, like this just feels so good. I love the Viking. I had one in CPM D2 that I sold to DTO Knives and Gear and or the second best Kyle of all time. This thing is freaking cool. Definitely cannot front flip though, but I had to try. This is also a hand ground blade, folks, so I guarantee you this thing is a laser beam. And it's also CPM 3V, so I'm going to coat the shit out of this EDCI immediately because it'll rust if you stare at it too damn hard. And we also have some uh, porn shop quality promotional material. Like, this really thin, kind of cheap feeling. <laughs> like, I remember seeing these all the time. Allegedly, whenever you go in to grab something, you're like, oh, hey, here's this thing. Why does this feel so cheap? Anyways, that's a different story. Also, one last thing. This man signed his name on the backspacer. Who I love this knife. Also, the uh, CNC engraving, laser engraving, had to have been done two or three times, right? Because there is this kind of like a deep etch into the blade that you can actually feel it. It feels badass. I love it. I love this knife. So, you know what that means, folks. That knife tastes like the pouch. Oh my God, I'm done for today. Oh, I'm gonna brush my fucking teeth, Jesus.